What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I know it's been a while since I posted a video, but I wanted to take a minute and break down my saddle hunting setup. Uh, a few months ago, I posted a video about my DIY sit drag tree saddle setup that I built. And throughout the season, I kind of adapted my setup and changed it a good bit. So I'm gonna show you guys what I think is the best budget friendly option uh, i wouldn't go so far to say it's the best option on the market i'm just saying it's the best for the hunter on the budget so this is the system that i ended up building uh, about middle of the season and hunted primarily out of this year and i really enjoyed this setup it's real comfortable and easy to work with and easy to set up and super super budget friendly so i'm going to kind of break it down and tell you guys a little bit about the uh system and the components that I bought to build it so so first things first is the platform uh, in my first video I did not use a platform I started out using some screw in tree steps and uh, ended up not liking those as much I like the ability to stand up straight on this platform this is just a custom built lone wolf seat platform and I'll bring it up here so you guys can see it a little closer This is the platform that I used and loved it. So I'll show you guys how to set this up on a tree. I'll show you my stick setup and my saddle. So next thing, next thing is the stick setup. These are the API hunting sticks. And I actually cut these down to about 16 inches. And I added a one step uh, rope aider on the bottom. Uh, these are just a standard overhand knot through the uh, bottom step of these APIs. They're super lightweight, super packable. I mean, these things are really short and really light. And then for the uh, rope to attach them to the tree, I kind of did like a Versa button. The APIs come with this, and then I built these Amsteel uh, ropes to tether it to the tree. And uh, I just spliced an eye. And then I'm going to use kind of a friction loop. I'm going to use a half hitch. I'm going to, well, I'm going to use two half hitches on this stick, and I'll put this on the tree so you guys can see that too. Basically, I mount this. I put my rope aider to my knee, the bottom of my rope aider to my knee. That's how I know how high I want to hang this first stick. Come around the tree, in behind the Versa button here, and through. It makes a good friction bind right there, but go ahead and put you a couple half hitches in this thing. One will do. I like the added safety of using two. So I'm going to go two half hitches, and this thing is secure. I've got an easy step, easy to climb. I know you guys should be able to see that pretty good because I've got my flip out screen. So you should be able to see this really good system just be careful always be aware of where that rope aider is when you're coming down uh, this one has reflective stitching in it so that I can see it in the dark with my flashlight uh, this is the stick setup that I've been using I'm gonna move this down a little bit and I'll show you the platform I'll go ahead and set it up and then we'll get into the saddle so I know uh, originally when I made the first video I was using the um, sit drag saddle that I built myself. Since then, I ended up investing in the Trophy Line saddle. This is a really great saddle. I like everything about it, especially the price point. So, fits super nice, and it's got a uh, safety belt. You can tighten it down and then it has a two inch webbing bridge. I know it's not as smooth and doesn't move through the uh, carabiner quite as well as the Am Steel, but still it's a good option. And this saddle is built like a tank. And for the price point, that's what puts it to me uh, being the most budget friendly saddle on the market. Basically, when I get to a tree, say this is my top stick. We're going to pretend this is my top stick. So when I get here, I'm on my top stick, and I get my platform out. And it's pretty simple. I'm just going to cam it. And I always mount it out to the side. Now, 
got it in there. I'm gonna put the, clip my carabiner on, and then I'm gonna get this strap kind of tight, and then I can this over, just like that. Locks into place, super sturdy. Uh, this has been a really, really good platform. I'm actually gonna move this stick out of the way and move the platform down so you guys can see it a little better. But uh, I've really enjoyed the platform. Like I said, standing up, if you wanna take some pressure, off of your hips and your legs, uh, the platform's definitely the way to go. I like the tree steps, but it puts a lot of pressure on the bottom of your feet. And this puts virtually none, so. All right, guys, so I got my platform set right here. My tether's on the tree, but I would normally do that when I get up the tree, obviously, but I went ahead and hung it on here for video purposes, but I'm gonna hop up on this platform right here and show you guys how I hook into this saddle. So, basically, I've got my tether right here. I've got the bridge of my saddle. Not much to it. You just hook right into this carabiner. Make sure you lock it down. And you can adjust this uh, bridge however high or low you want it. Get your saddle position. And then, I mean, you just kind of drop into it. It doesn't have a lot of hip pinch. It's real comfortable. Uh, I can sit all day like this. I have done several all day sits in this setup. It's great. It's the best. To me, it's the best setup for mobile hunting you're going to find on the market. Super budget friendly uh, with the trophy line saddle and their uh, tether and lineman rope setup. I think the kit comes in right at 280 if I'm not mistaken compared to some of the other brands being closer to that 400 mark and i've got 80 dollars in the platform build uh, it's really lightweight as well so it's a really really good budget option also the sticks a set of three of the api sticks are 100 dollars or 99.99 and i bought them when they had a free shipping offer going on so uh, i got them for 100 100 dollars and i cut those down the custom length that i wanted them and I really love those sticks. They're great. They get a good grip on the tree. They climb good, and they're easy to pack in and out. And I mean, they're literally like 16 inches long, so you really can't beat them. And for the price, it's hard. It's hard to beat a good aluminum climbing stick for a hundred bucks for a pack of three. They're, they're the cheapest ones I could find, and really customizable. So um, this is the saddle setup. It's really great. This saddle's really comfortable for leaning. I'm personally not much of a sitter. But I do have a set of knee pads that I use. And if you like to sit more, I definitely recommend getting the knee pads because the bark, tree bark will definitely eat your knees up. So uh, get you a set of knee pads. Nothing to making this, moving this to a sitting position, just lower it down, sit down in it more like a hammock, and just put your knees right on the tree. And like I said, with a pair of knee pads, this is super comfortable. I'm not getting much hip pinch at all. Make sure you adjust this. Uh, you can slide it down or back, depending on where you want the pressure. I like to keep mine down a little further if I'm going to be sitting. And then if I'm going to stand up, I always pull it up just a little bit higher. That way it kind of puts some of the pressure more on the bottom of my butt here. And that keeps it where I can lean back. And more, than, more than likely, this is the position I'm going to be in the entire hunt. It's great for filming. Uh, I hook my fourth arrow camera arm right underneath the bottom of this tether, snap a GoPro to the tether right here, and that gives me the uh, ability to film my hunts easily. I've got 360 degree motion around this tree. Nothing too moving in this thing. Real comfortable, real easy. So uh, I really love this setup. Uh, even much more so than the sit drag that I started out with. Uh, it's a great option but having a true saddle with the compartments and the pouches uh, really made a difference. It was a game changer for me, so uh, I don't think I could go back. But I'm gonna switch over to the GoPro and let you see it from the perspective of being in this saddle. And that way you can see my carabiner, my tether, my saddle, and everything a little bit more up close, so. All right, guys, we are in the saddle. So uh, these are the black diamond carabiners that come with the trophy line set up to a Prusik knot and then their tree tether. It actually comes with a sewn eye 
and I undid the sewn eye and put a overhand knot in mine. Not that I don't trust the stitching, I just feel better about not having a million little stitches running through my rope. I'm sure they didn't cross any fibers, but I liked this a little better. So looking down here, it's quite a, looks like a long way down there, but there's my saddle uh, platform and it does, does a great job. One of the best things about this is that it gives you the ability to stand up and take total pressure off of your hips and your butt, the saddle not got any tension on me I can easily turn around in this where I'm standing completely on the platform with no pressure on the saddle at all and I, it makes for really easy turnaround shots and it's great for that so uh, I'm gonna switch over to the other camera and hop down out of this setup and get back with you guys in just a second all right so I'm just gonna break this down I just unhooked the thing. Like I said, I usually use a lineman's rope, so I'm constantly tethered to the tree. I would not climb down without one if I wasn't right here on the ground. But uh, for the video, I'm just gonna come down because I'm just right here on the ground. Pretty simple. I would be here with my lineman rope attached. Uh, I just roll this up nice and neat, put it in this uh, side pouch and I'm ready to climb down. So it's that simple, nothing to it. Like I said, I think this is the best, uh, one of the best systems on the market. I hunted out of the Lone Wolf stand for a while and it just wasn't what I was looking for in a mobile setup. And I wanted the most mobile system I could come up with, but stay in a price point that was affordable because, you know, hey, you know, some of that stuff's just pretty outrageous. Not saying it's not a great product, it's just the pricing's uh, kind of unattainable for some people. So I went with a more budget-friendly option, and I really love it. It's something you guys could definitely look into. So uh, go back over. It's the API Hunting Sticks. Um, they're sold through Cabela's. The uh, Lone Wolf platform I built out of the Lone Wolf seat. You can find those on eBay sometimes, and I don't remember the steel tubing size but it's just the piece of steel tubing and then the two um, bat wing standoffs you can order from Lone Wolf. And I think you're gonna come out around 80 bucks, 80 to $100 on the platform. And then the saddle, if you get the saddle with both sets of ropes, I think it's $279.99. It's definitely a good system, good budget friendly option and something, something to definitely consider for you guys. So appreciate you guys checking back in and I'm gonna try to post more videos. Uh, we do have a Missouri hunt coming up in September, possibly the second week of November. Not sure right now how that's going to pan out, but uh, been going to start doing some more scouting videos and getting those uploaded and some tips and tricks on what I do uh, during the hunting season, especially on public land and stuff, because that's kind of become my primary focus. So uh, I'll get back with you guys. I appreciate you guys watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to. And as always, you guys have a blessed day.